Hello everybody, Nick Rancy for Kids here once again. This time bringing you another casual deck. This one being a tune deck. I got recommended this uh, by uh, someone in the chat of one of the recent tournaments suggested that I make a tune deck when they saw me and I figured I would uh, oblige them. Um, unfortunately, this deck is a bit uh, similar to the previous deck that I had posted, so I apologize for that, but I wanted to uh, get around to making um, that person's request before I went on to other decks. Um, there are definitely other ways that you can build this deck, but I figured that this would be the best way to me. Uh, for instance, you can make a Toon Chaos deck if you have a lot of discard outlets, because there are a number of light and dark tune monsters um, but I think that this is the way that is the um, easiest way to play tunes uh, if you actually want to play like all of the tunes rather than just splashing them in randomly because some of them definitely can be splashed into certain decks but I wanted to use as many tunes as possible uh, let's just get on to the deck and then I'll explain reasons why I didn't include some of them uh, afterward so first off, we have one Blue Eyes Toon Dragon in the deck. We don't want too many because it does require two tributes and it requires uh, Toon World to be on the field. Uh, but something to note uh, about Toon Monsters, uh, the old ones, while all the Toon Monsters in Go Format are destroyed when Toon World is destroyed, unfortunately, um, that doesn't happen if their effects are negated as well. If their effects are negated, they can attack the turn they're summoned. Uh, and as well, you don't have to pay life points to attack with them, which is one of the reasons why we are running skill drain in this deck with our tunes, as well as we're stopping our opponent's strong monster effects, flip effects, etc. Uh, at the same time. But um, Toon Blue Eyes White Dragon, uh, the summon is a special summon requiring two tributes. Uh, it is not a normal summon, so you can actually use Scapegoat, which is the same thing for Toon Summon Skull. Um, that's why we are running Scapegoat in this deck as well. Uh, otherwise, there's pretty much no way you're going to summon it or no way you're going to want to summon it. Uh, but we have one Toon Blue Eyes, uh, one Exiled Force, because we are running two reinforcements of the army in this deck. Um, you'll see why because we have three goblin attack force because we are running skill drain and we want to be able to beat down the opponent's monsters um, you could instead run zombira the dark in this deck if you wanted to um, there's also an, a number of other monsters that you could potentially run but i had the most fun with the these beat sticks uh goblin attack force gonna crash with chaos sorcerer and run over pretty much any other monsters that they have besides BLS. Uh, then we have one Toon Cannon Soldier, just because we are running the scapegoats and it is searchable by the uh, Toon Table of Contents that we run. Uh, when you really need to, it can help you to end a game and if uh, you absolutely had to do 500 damage, you can still tribute itself under the effects of Skill Drain to do 500 damage to the opponent. Um, and again, I wanted to include as many uh, tune monsters as we could in this deck. Uh, it's also one of the tunes that can still be normal summoned when Toon World isn't out on the field, so there's that for it. Uh, then we have three Toon Gemini Elf, um, which can be normal summoned without Toon World on the field. And uh, it actually has a decent effect of if this card inflicts battle damage to your opponent, discard one random card from your opponent's hand. It's very good when we don't have skill drain or when they destroy skill drain. Um, and I actually uh, uh, won a duel because I had uh, Toon World out on the field and she could attack directly and remove cards from my opponent's hand. That was pretty cool. Uh, then we have three Toon Goblin Attack Force. It's the same as Goblin Attack Force, except that it can't attack the turn that it's uh, normal summoned and it can be searched by Toon Table Contents. Then we have three Tombed Summon Skull. Uh, it's a Summon Skull, but you can special summon it by tributing a monster, and it requires Toon World and all of that jazz. Um, we just want to hopefully tribute our scapegoats 
or weaker monsters that you can beat over their bigger monsters. Uh, then we have one twin-headed behemoth, simply because it doesn't care about skill drain and it allows me to tribute my monsters more easily as well as being an okay beat stick being that it has 1500 attack and again not affected by skill drain with its effect. Then of course I run Delinka Duo, Graceful Charity, and Pot of Greed. They're just really good cards. Best way to create advantage and get the cards that you need from your deck. And then one Mystical Space Typhoon and two Reinforce the Army to search our goblins from our deck as well as the Exiled Force which for anyone who doesn't know it is not affected by Skill Drain because Skill Drain only negates the effects of face up monsters and Exiled Force tributes itself for its effect so it is no longer face up when its effect is resolving. Then as I mentioned earlier have two scapegoat. Um, three can clog really badly but we want to have it not only to protect our life points but also to more easily summon our tune summon skulls and tune blue eyes. Uh, the three tune table contents no reason not to run three. Unlike you'd see in most decks that run two table contents I hold on to this uh, when I have them and I use them to search the cards I need when I need them like if I have a Toon Summon Skull, I want to search for a uh, Toon World and then have the other Toon Tables late in my deck later to search for other cards that I might need rather than searching one for one for one and then the card. I only do that if I think that I need to thin the deck to get other cards from my deck that aren't Toon cards uh, for later. Like if it's later in the game like oh my god I'm gonna lose if I don't get my skill drain. Uh, then I'll do that. Uh, then we have two Toon World. I would only run one uh, because we do be, we can search for it with Toon Table Contents, but if it gets destroyed, then uh, our uh, Toon Monsters, the uh, Toon Summon Skull and Blue Eyes White Dragon are going to not be able to be summoned because even if you have skill drain uh, you can't uh, negate their summon condition which requires uh, Toon World to be on the field. Uh, then we have one Dust Trino because we do not run uh, Heavy Storm in this deck for obvious reasons. We have the Toon World and the skill drain and we want to keep those up um, and we have to pay life points to play these so it especially hurts when they go away. Uh, then we have one Mirror Force because it's good. And of course to go with that the torrential helps to uh, gain advantage and get rid of monsters that we can't run over otherwise with ours and we have uh, two sakuretsu armor uh, helps to again get rid of monsters that we uh, can't destroy by battle such as bls and uh, when we don't have skill drain annoying effect monsters as well uh, then of course you have the three skill drain uh, you Technically, you could run two, but because the strategy of this deck relies so completely heavily on having skill drain, even if it's not that these go to defense and such, your tune monsters still can't attack the turn that they're summoned unless their effects are negated. And that's really what kills tune monsters um, the most. I mean, even, I mean, of course, the tune world thing is really uh, painful, but. Not being able to attack the turn that they're summoned really hurts the Toon Monsters really badly. And uh, that's why Skill Drain, in my opinion, is the best way to do that as well. It sort of pays for itself because a lot of these Toons require 500 life points to be able to attack. And then we run 3 Solemn Judgment. It's a little bit difficult with so many cards that require life points to be paid like Toon World and Skill uh, Drain and the attacks from uh, Toon Summon Skull and uh, Blue Eyes Toon Dragon but I think this is really the only way you can run this deck is with the with the Solemn Judgments because otherwise they're just going to easily destroy Skill Drain they're going to easily destroy Toon World and you're going to be completely screwed and you're just going to lose right out from the gate. So I think that's Solemn Judgment is the best way to go in a deck like this. Um, as I mentioned before, you could do a Chaos deck with Toons if you wanted to go a different route or just a slightly different route. 
because there is the Toon Summon Skull and the Toon Cannon Soldier and even uh, Toon Mask Sorcerer that are all dark monsters. And you have Toon Blue Eyes as a light monster, which you can search with Toon Table of Contents. But then you have to find a way to summon Blue Eyes or discard Blue Eyes. And it just seemed awkward to me. And uh, I decided not to build that. Um, one card you could play is Toon Mermaid. Level 4 with 1400, 1500, and if you have Toon World, you can special summon it. Um, I did try out a version of this deck that run Toon Mermaid, but the problem is, is it clogs in the hand really badly if you don't have Toon World, and opponents very often try to remove Toon World, and when they do, it completely blows you out, and you don't want to be stuck um, with no way to play your cards. I lost multiple duels just because I had multiple Toon Mermaids that I couldn't summon, uh, so I decided to not use it. And as I mentioned before, it could use some Byra instead of uh, one or all of your um, Goblin Attack Forces. Um, it does work well with Skill Drain, and uh, 2100 is pretty good, although it doesn't crash with uh, Cast Sorcerer, which I think is one of the main reasons that you'd uh, want to use Goblin Attack Force. And uh, not being able to attack directly when you don't have Skill Drain can really hurt. Um, you can also run Brain Control in this deck. I did try out a few different versions that include Brain Control um, because you can, you know, tribute your opponent's monsters with uh, Toon Summon Skull or uh, Blue Eyes Toon Dragon or Toon Cannon Soldier. Um, I tried one of them in this deck, and you probably could do that, but it's hard to pull off in my opinion. Especially because most of those tribute monsters um, also require Toon World to be on the field for you to be able to even special summon them or summon them in the first place, so it's very iffy. Um, if you do do a Chaos version of this deck, you can also run Lighting Vortex, uh, for instance, as a discard outlet, Raigeki, Break, Phoenix Wing, Wind Blast, things like that. Um, I didn't include No Mana Cross out in this deck just because I was trying to figure out space, and we already have the skill drain, so we don't care too much about most of the monsters that our opponents will set when you have skill drain. But if you want to, you can definitely create space for that. And uh, you could also run more Dust Tornadoes because you don't run heavy in this deck. Or you could side heavy if you wanted to. Um, ultimately, this is the build that I went with. I had a lot of fun, although I didn't win too many duels. But once you get skill drain out and you start summoning your monsters, you're in a pretty good position because the opponent relies heavily on their own monster effects and they're not getting any of their flips and they're not getting uh, to be able to use the effect of sorcerer and so on so as long as you don't get like a bls or they don't wipe your spells and traps out you're in a pretty good position um, as always let me know what you guys think about the deck if you have any deck suggestions like the person who sent this uh, idea to me uh, unfortunately i don't have their name but if uh, you know that you suggested this deck to me, feel free to post in the comments below and uh, I'll be sure to give you a shout out. And um, as well, let me know if there's any kinds of videos that you'd like me to uh, make that even uh, that aren't uh, deck profiles, like maybe just explaining different uh, archetypes that are in, in GOAT format, like Reasoning Gate and Warriors and uh, Aggro and Panda Burn, things like that. I don't know uh, of my audience who is new to Go Format and who isn't. Uh, feel free to comment below, or even if you just want to comment something random, feel free to do that. As long as you're not uh, being mean to people, I don't really care. And of course, I, uh, I can also take constructive criticism if you have any criticism for me. Just don't uh, be insulting about it. I mean, you could tell me that my videos aren't very good, without saying uh, like, oh, you're a piece of crap or something like that. As long as it's not something like saying I'm a piece of crap, um, you could say pretty much whatever you want or you're saying someone else is a piece of crap. That also isn't cool. Um, but uh, again, thank you very much for watching the video and have a great one.